Hello! Hello everyone, my name is Notepad, and on an I Ride Games for fun, so what are we doing today? We are instead going to be playing a game. I'm like 80% sure this is working. Let, 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 me, let me see. Uh, it looks like it is. I, I think. Okay, let me uh, let me just go over here. Okay, there we go. Yes, things are working. Uh, but do you write them for fun? I do write them for fun. Uh, hello, everyone. Yes, this is Heroes of Might and Magic Dark Messiah. Uh, this is a game about you kicking people. I, I would like to be more. There isn't this entire intro, intro scrawl about uh, Might and Ma about this game. That, um, I can't run. Gonna be honest with you, I can't run it. Uh, now, you may be wondering, this looks a little bit weird. This looks a little bit wrong, even. Um, there's a reason for it, in fact. Uh, this entire thing, I'm running in a window. Yes, I'm actually running this game in a window. Uh, to make sure that I can read chat a little bit more easily. Uh, this game came out in 2006, I believe, and it runs on not Source 10 or Source 11, no, it runs on Source 7. Yes, this is a Source game by Ubisoft. Yes, this is Ubisoft, and is technically, <clears throat> if we want to be really particular about it, a sequel to Heroes of Might and Magic 5. Yes, this is a sequel to the RT, well, turn-based strategy game, Heroes of Might and Magic 5, and a pre super sequel to heart for not hearts of iron to heroes of might and magic six but also kind of not it gets a little bit confusing uh fun fact i i had to learn a lot about the lore of this just to make sure everything works uh can i stop making games of course not so generally speaking uh, this took a, this was a uh, pain in the ass to actually get working. This entire thing, this 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 game runs on hopes and dreams, as you can kind of see here. I have a crash counter down below, just because there is a, I wouldn't even say non-zero chance of this of this completely collapsing. I'm saying it as an almost hundred and fifty percent chance of breaking at some point. If things are a little bit too quiet, tell me. I will do something all right to, to change that, but... <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully we uh, have some fun. If you want to talk, if you if you want to ask any questions, feel free to. Uh, hopefully I'm coming in all right, so let's hit the magic. Oh, manly co-host. We do actually have a manly co-host. Let me up, but there we go. <laughs> our uh, our infernal our infernal pal who redeemed that Sterner. Thank you for hello Sterner. How are you? Uh, we're gonna play on hardcore mode now. Hardcore mode is what I like to refer to as a CBT mode. Uh, I got about ninety percent ninety percent of the way through a ma a magic only run of hardcore mode uh, before I had to stop for some other exterior reasons. But uh, we're just gonna play hardcore mode normally. Master Fenrig, where are you? I'm here, Saren. Now listen. In the room ahead. Hi, Master Fenrig. With a spider artifact. Take it. We'll need it to get to the Shantiri crystal. Now, to give you an idea, I've been running through this particular section of the game about. About a dozen times today, just trying to get various aspects of the game actually into a place where I can do things with it. Uh, it's been a pain in the ass. So, let's come on. Let me then sprint through here. We go over here. We now the big thing with uh, Dark Messiah, and this is the, one of the more biggest selling points of the game, and what people probably remember it about, is that, is the kick. Because everything in this game is using source physics. It. And you wanna know what source physics allow you to do? It allows you to throw boxes at things. It allows you to do things that normally you wouldn't be able to, including kick. 
Now, here's the burning light of a law. So we're gonna go in here. I don't have any mods or anything installed, in case you're wondering. This is just the pure experience outside of me having to do some console fuckery to get the actual, um... Yeah, pretty much having to do some console fuckery to get this in a window. Now, one of the main things which you're supposed to do here is just absolutely violate your enemies. Just violate them. Just make every single thing harder for the enemy at every single conceivable moment. Now, in hardcore mode, enemies are a lot stronger, unsurprisingly. There we go. Please die. Let's run Windows 7 in Sandbox. Uh, it's not even that. It's not even like it runs poorly. And that's the thing. It's not like it runs poorly or something. It's just that this game is not designed for windowed mode. It just isn't. There is no op there is no natural option for it. I don't know why there is not a natural option for windowed mode. And you may be wondering, hey, why are you doing windowed mode regardless? So I can look at the chat. Now, we're going to kick you on the ground. There we go. We get the impale off. Yep. Let's put your chat on, the, on in your second monitor. Brave of you to assume I have a second monitor. Ooh. Come on. Yep. No, I have a single monitor. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not even that. Uh, I I've been doing all of these on a um, on a laptop. I just fucking hit myself with a bunch of barrels because I'm a fucking idiot. Get on the ground. Yeah, no, I've been doing all of this on a laptop. Yep, that's what I use. Get on the ground. Decapitated. Let's get the fuck out of dodge. I'm gonna have to remember that hardcore mode will kill you in like a quarter second in 95% of situations. That's gonna be fun remembering. There we go. Though, you can just play this game entirely. Like, the combat in this game is actually a lot of fun. Ow. Combat in this game is actually a lot of fun. I'm just very bad at it. Ow, fuck. No, case in point where I gotta remember how to uh, do things correctly. It's been a while, team. Oh god. No, fuck you. No, god damn it. Just die already. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Though I have been experimenting with doing more full screen stuff, because originally one of the games I wanted to go over was... Oh, one of the other games I wanted to do was Pillars of Eternity, actually. Uh, the problem is, is that I can run it in a windowed mode. I can run it in a window mode. The problem is, is that it does not, um... I don't want to word this. It doesn't like it. Uh, the actual UI of the game does not like windowed mode. <laughs> Education. Yes, welcome to uh, and uh, prepare for our uh, our favorite person. Yeah, we'll we'll just let the cutscene play out. Sarith, my faithful disciple, your father would be proud to see you this day. Initiated into the arts of magic, a fierce and noble warrior. You have all that you need to achieve your destiny. But you won't achieve it here. Your future is out there, 
in a distant land. I'm sending you to the free city of Stonehelm to meet a wizard named Menelag. He and I have certain mutual interests. Right now, he's looking for an artifact called the Skull of Shadows. Unfortunately, he's unable to progress any further in his search. At least not without this, the Shantary Crystal that we retrieved. It was worth our pain to retrieve it, don't you think? My pain, Fenrig. Take it to Menelag and help him get the skull. Once you nah, do, Fenrig's I think you'll know what's expected of you next. However, my dear boy, I am not sending you alone. You'll need a guide, a companion, perhaps even a guardian. She may even teach you a few other things. What is your bidding, my master? One can travel lighter than two, Sarah. Am I to protect this boy? Fear not. This won't hurt a bit. Shh. By the way, my name is Zana. Yep, that's Zana. There it is, Sarah. The free city of Stonehelm. Crossroads of money and magic. Deliver the crystal to Manalag and we can be on our way. Fun fact about Xana. Uh, Xana is actually a character from um, uh, the Heroes of Might and Magic series. She's actually one of the main characters in the uh, Infernal campaigns of 5. Yeah, she's like a major character there. I didn't really realize that because I've never really played Heroes 5. And it was like, oh, she's like an important character there. <laughs> oh. Well, important, but now the the thing with like when it comes to modable like modability, what I am surprised about is that no one has attempted to like port this game over to like another one of the source games because in theory it shouldn't be too complicated. In theory, anyway. Because all the assets and everything, all the assets and everything is here. I'm the envoy from Master Fenrir, with a message for the wizard Menelag. That's Lord Menelag. Got any proof? Oh, we're a little wary of strangers these days. I have a letter of introduction. Let me see it then. Hmm. By special request of Lord Menelag. And there's a seal. Let me welcome you to Stonehelm. We'll stable your horse for you if it pleases you, sir. Of course. Can you tell me where to find Menelag? Certainly, sir. You go uphill past the Golden Rivet and Sweet Dragon's Blood, what's that? Sweet Dragon's Blood, what's that? Everybody, let's run the fuck away. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma runs off of faith. I, I like Dragon's Dogma. I think the game's really good. And I think we should look at Dragon's Dogma more for most things in life. How about that chain? Okay, you know what? I'm going to save the game right here. And save that. Okay. Get in here. Dr Dragon's Dogma is the only game in which you will start playing it and then quickly begin to realize that the level one, you know, ass goblins you fight are some of the most intimidating enemies in the game because you do they don't tell you jack shit. They do not tell you a single fucking thing in in that fucking game. Okay. 
I did that on the first time. You have no idea how many times I just got fucking killed there. I would click on that. I'm the the microsecond I click on anything, it's Jover. I hear more on the stairs. Uh, okay, where do I It's bad? <laughs> Ah, there we go. Box. Oop. Oop. Oh, that's bad. I forgot where the fuck to go. Uh. Just. Oop. Let's just hang out here. Da 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 da. <laughs> uh, Virgin Gabos vs. Giga Witchwood Fighter Bandit. <laughs> yeah, the fucking like when when I when I realized that like the goblin is literally formed of like just murder, I was like, oh, it all makes sense now. Okay, let's shut the upper gate. Yeah, you. Yeah, there we go. And lewd furry mods. Get away. No, oh, Jesus. Hey, can I get his sword? I want his weapon. Uh. Yeah, there's. Dragon's Dogma's got a bunch of mods, I know that much. And I really enjoy playing Dragon's Dogma. I have no idea how I would do it accurately on this, though. No clue how I would do a, like a good stream of it, though. Because it's a very... It, it is both a very exciting and very slow game. Okay, let's, uh... There's the. D oh, there it is. Come on, Sarah. Keep up your fire. This is. This is very awkward, by the way. You did it. God tier party combat inside of a mediocre, incom incomplete world map and story. The story, like the thing is, I really actually enjoy. I enjoy the story of. Uh, Dragon's Dogma. I enjoy it because it's actually pretty decent when they act, when it actually starts getting going. It just takes a bit to get going. That's all clear. They're retreating. Yeah, we didn't. We also got like five skill points. I haven't spent them on anything. Let's read a note. No, if we. No, no, okay. Wow, I was thinking about Liana again, like always, I guess. She's so pretty and so nice, and her uncle says she'll be a great wizard, like he is. I think I'm going to ask her to marry me. Not today, though. Maybe when this world will give me a chance to be a hero and prove myself to her. Sorry, sorry, loser. The thing is, everything is that happens between Grigori taking her and getting it back is completely irrelevant. A little bit. I get where you're going with it. I think the issue is that there is a... Dragon's Dogma has two stories. Like, that's the thing you have to realize. Dragon's Dogma has two entire plots. There is the first half plot, and there is the second half plot. They are not the same thing. They are completely different. With completely different ideas and completely different concepts in them. You handle yourself pretty well in a fight. Care to join us for a pint at the Golden Rivet? <laughs> no. Uh. I, 
I have to hold E. Yeah, no, it's like the first half of Dragon's Dogma is like, oh man, what? Who the fuck is Grigori? What's going on? How do we do this? What's a pawn? And what what does it mean for me to be a um, prison? I believe that's a term. It's like, what's the, what is the context for me being a Risen? It's like, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's like, cool. You introduce some fun characters, and then the second half happens. Give me that shield. Give me some daggers. There we go, some actual weapons. Down. Nope. Ration. <laughs> I like it how I just immediately, you know, yeah, Dragon, Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm actually kind of excited for that one. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm actually pretty excited about. That one seems like it has some cool ideas in it. And I'm like, I wonder how... My, my only thing with it is I wonder how... I wonder how far they're going to go with it, if that makes sense. Like, are, how hard are they going to go on some of the ideas that were presented originally in Dogma? That they do, are they going to expand on all the ideas? Are they going to go only on certain ones? Yeah, it's even more Souls-like. Yeah, or, or are they going to follow trends? Which, generally speaking, like, Dragon's Dogma was kind of a weird game just because of how different it was. Like, it was a weird, different game that I I don't really think there has been... Yeah, no, go go try to join Minecraft servers. Like... Be with you presently, Squire. They seem to sell more than just ale gear. Like, I generally don't know, like, how far it's going to go. I'm, I'm curious. Give me your bread, give me your food. Right? is particularly strong here. Sorry, ma'am. Nope. Okay. What are you waiting for? Out. Yeah. You really have a way with women, don't you? Yes. Eh. Serves for dinner clubs of this generation. You joke, but yeah, they are. Yeah, no, it's the the number of people I've encountered being like all of my relations like I've formed deep and abiding relationships on things like fucking like Fortnite servers on like uh v various other things where it's like why like no stop that if I remember correctly I need to get up yeah there we are. Hey, let me see if I can't remember. I need to get a box. Hi, Liana. You know what they say about the size of a man's front gate? That's, that's cool, Liana. I don't really care. I'm trying to steal everything that's not nailed down. This house. Throw that. Uh, oil jar. Oil jar, oil jar. Okay, that's you. Okay, we need to go in here. Not to wash the blood out of thee. Wash out the blood. Huh? Leave her be, Sarah. She's not important. Some things will never be clean now. Never ever be clean. Oh, you seem sad. Uh, where is the? I know where I need to go. I need to find a fucking crate for it, though. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. That's creepy. I've encountered people who like, yeah, I know every single thing about all of my online friends. Ah, and sometimes it gets a little bit like, that's a little bit weird. But then it's like, I kind of get it in other aspects. Need to... Alright, three, two, one. God! What the fuck? Get the... Ah, 
There we go. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Give me that. Be a menace to society. Take that. Nope. Oh. We picked up a staff. Yes, we picked up a combat staff. So technically, we can do some stuff there. Yo, this is what everyone needed. Coomer, Coomers will never stop. Like, that's like something that is a abiding fact of reality. As long as there is something to coom, people will find a way to coom. Like, that's just the nature of the beast. What have I done? I've done nothing wrong. God damn it. <laughs> I enter a building. Don't worry about me. Everything a male has accomplished has been, has been in history been driven by either coom or autism. Often both. Like, that's the thing you have to remember. It is often both. And let's not kid ourselves here. Let's not, like, try to think, like, we're some high and mighty, you know, individual here. No. It's been, you know, <laughs> coomer autism. Nope. 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 Nope, need you. Nope, didn't. I mean, to do that. Clear off, you. You've got no business here. Nope. Uh, two, three, two, one, jump. Not get. Got, I did it perfectly the first time, and now you're just not. There we are. Okay, a little bit more. A little bit more. Dun, 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 there. Oh. Ah, there we are. God damn it. I did it perfectly the first time. I didn't save. Made an ass out of myself. God. The climbing in this game is pretty much like every other Valve game ever created by mankind, like just every other Valve game where it just barely functions. So we're gonna save again. Cool, good job team, we did it. I believe we have to go this way. Cause there's another room full of stuff in this area. Hi Liana, you're cool, Pagarino, we'll talk to you in a bit. Is it here? That's no, not it. I know there is another. It's in this one, I believe. Hello, guard. There's nothing suspicious going on here, sir. Don't worry about me. Enter this house real fast. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. I'm just in some dude's house. Oh, went around the fucking circle. Da, da, da. Don't mind me, I'm just in a dude's house. This is one of those secrets where I just like vaguely remember every single time I end up playing. Okay, we... There he has a special -er item. I gotta remember where the hell... No. Not like a secret door. There's no money in this game either. Like, that's one thing you gotta realize. There's no money, there's no, like... Ah, oh, there. I just healed myself that I shouldn't have done. But I'm also okay with that because... He take this. I could have swore there was something else in there. I can't remember what. Fun in the nature of keeping keeping pace. Hello, wizard. Let's meet our favorite girl. Hi, Liana. Excuse me. Oh, 
You must be the envoy. Here's our guest. Hi, go. Uh, uh, okay. I'm here to see the wizard Lord Menelag on behalf of Master Fenn. Yeah, we just cucked Garth, Garth, by the way. I was getting worried about you, though maybe for no reason. Uncle said you helped kill <laughs> The secret of this plot is that it's just about cucking Garth. Niece and pupil. Niece? Pupil? Mm. Uncle will be so pleased to see you. But you'll want to wash up before dinner. Please, follow me. With pleasure. I mean, yes. Excellent. As you can see as well, Sareth also has spaghetti in his pockets. You know, this game has made me want to uh, make a bizarre Exel, you know, classics Exel Testament setting. Like, one of the, Hercules shows off, he coexisted, and he had biblical demons possessing people along with sorcerers, demigods, and other weirdness. Also, hello. Hello! Okay, let's go. So, you're Sabbath. Good to see you, lad. With those necromancers at the walls, watch it with that. I was getting worried. I trust you brought the He's infernal crystal. manly. Of course you have. Good. I'll take that, my lad, for safekeeping. Tomorrow we sail with it. Careful with that soup there. To the Temple Isle, resting place of the Skull of Shadows. The Skull of Shadows. Let here throw his army against the walls. We'll be off sealing his doom. Don't dismiss Arantir too lightly. There are rumors that he might be the Dark Messiah. No oh, stuff and nonsense, girl. All three of us know better than that. But the time is right for the prophecy. I'll worry about dusty old prophecies. You worry about the expedition. You're in charge of it, after all. <laughs> of course, Uncle. Good night. And to you too, Sarah. Please don't tell me you find that sort of thing cute. <laughs> Listen well, boy. I know why you're really here, but Liana doesn't, and we'll keep it that way. Fenric's business doesn't touch her. Understood? What are you talking about? Hmm. Perhaps you don't know, and that's probably for the best. <laughs> the servants will show you to the guest house. Get some sleep, hero. We sail with the morning tide. Yes, this is, um... Yeah, we're already on chapter two, technically. Oh no! Hide myself? Now why would I do that? Why did the... No, get away from me. I keep hitting every single wrong button. Come on, come on up, come on. Fuck you, asshole. There we go. You're still awake. Please die. Ah, oh, I get. Oh, yeah. Let, uh, let me rearrange my uh, inventory here while I have a little bit of time, as I just devoured every single one of my uh, my uh, things there. Um, we'll we'll use. We'll keep with the daggers for now. Uh, if you've noticed, I've not actually invested any of my skill points yet, uh, which I should, but on the other hand, I don't feel like it. Now, uh, another set of daggers, more B-series of Ashan. Do we have anything fun in there? Give me that. He actually lived this time. Do we have anything here? Cool. Let's just... <laughs> now, we can... We can be this a little bit cheeky breaky like. Turn it. Huh? Let's go, assholes. Oh, 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 someone's got a knife. Oh, running around at the speed of sound. Uh, now, welcome to how... Uh, get in there. Ooh. You. 
Archer. We've got trouble. Ah, that could have gone a lot better. There we go. You actually dead? Okay, now you're dead. There we go. Now you're dead. That could have gone a lot. You're still alive. Welcome to hardcore mode, everybody, where none of the enemies ever f fucking die. There, are you finally dead? No, you're not dead. Please die. Are you dead? Yes, you're dead. Okay. Up a little bit. Oh. There's someone else coming here. Hey, buddy. You're a dead Ow. Man. Fuck. <laughs> I missed that box throw. Again. I haven't been a while since I've played hardcore. <laughs> give me a give me a second to be less shit at video games. Okay, hey, you. Oh gee. Oh. Show some skill before I kill you. Do this. Ah, do, do. Mm. Wanna go? Wanna go? I always forget the range on this. This fucking game is insane. There we go. Okay. So, outside of the accidental, accidental murder of one of our, uh, one of our people. Take that, let's take you, where's you? Him down. There's a fucking archer. I hate archers so fucking much. Ah. <laughs> uh, Taylor, I learned Zen is a hero in hero, hero in Hero Six. Yes, she is. Hero Six. That's it. What did I miss? Me being terrible. I know. Get out of. Well, to be fair, she is also, like, a fucking demon, so... I I don't think t things like age really get too, uh, too inventive in that, in that, <laughs> in that capacity. Um, let's think, what's the proper strategy here? We're gonna open this up, we're gonna bum rush over here, cause we... You must run over here. Now there's a fucking archer yet again. Ooh, do do do. Go to his left. Ah, where's something to throw? You. Hey, archer man. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Where are you going to? Yep, yeah, right in the face. Mm. Enemy bonk. Stab you once. You dead? Good job, team. We did it. Get 
down. Do bang. Oh no, he's still alive. Hey, buddy. Ah, there we are. Welcome to hardcore mode. <laughs> Where nothing ever fucking dies. I want to be a little bit more efficient about things. Uh... Oh, damn it. I fucking... Learn to kick people. Kicking doesn't do much on hardcore. It doesn't uh, knock them over permanently. Like, I need to get, like, I need to get, like, re-familiarize myself with the game. Because uh, it's been a bit, if you haven't realized. Uh... Easier. We sprint over here. We hit that. There we. See, this is the funny thing that I've been now so trained on playing Mordhau that my body is just instinctually trying to perfect parry everything. Even though that's just not how this game works. <laughs> this is not how this game works. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, fuck it. We're gonna uh, fuck it. We ball. Fuck it. We ball. <laughs> Health means nothing in this difficulty, by the way. Fun fact, we're gonna be here all night doing like one section. Unless if I be like really conservative about things. Well, yeah, that's like the case for a lot of those like sexy time mods. Like that's what they want to do. Like they, that's, that's the, that's the point. They want you to trigger those certain kinds of cutscenes. Actually, let's see if I can do this. Put... Fucking hell, I forgot the dagger. God damn it, I got stuck in the dagger animation. <laughs> Maybe I should have played like normal mode because normal mode is actually like something I know how to play. Not hardcore when I haven't played the game in literally in like three years. Maybe that would have been a better idea. But that would imply me knowing what I'm doing with my life. No, don't rush me. Oh, fuck. Keep them. There we go. Can't you just change the difficulty mid-game? 
Uh, yeah, I can do that, but, uh, we are on that fuck it we ball grind set. Stay the fuck down. Do a better combat build then. Uh, fun fact, I haven't invested any points into anything yet because I haven't decided what kind of build I want to do yet. Oh, whoa, fuck, there's two of them. Dude. If I want to do the broken one, dep depends on your uh, interpretation of the of the phrase broken. Because I can just play as a mage and just not have fun. Like, mage is like the least entertaining thing in the world. Uh, I've d <laughs> I went pretty far playing mage one time. Uh... Ah, son of a bitch. Hey, barrel. Here you go. There he is. Hey, buddy. No. No, get over there. And... <laughs> More like Dark Messiah of Might. <laughs> yeah. You joke, but yeah. Like... Magic in this particular game is very unreliable. <laughs> and the issue is, because you only have 20 mana unless you start really hardcore investing in it, and a spell might be like 10 mana. Did I hear something? You won't make it. Show some skill before I kill you. Do 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 do. Come over here. Do do do. Barrel. There we are. Let me just. If we were to count everything getting to this point it would be a lot higher like not gonna not gonna lie with anybody here it would be a lot higher there were a few crashes here because the thing is like um i'm running this in a i was running this in a uh i'm running this in a window actually and that window And, uh, fun fact, this game does not natively support window, windowed mode, it just does. And because it doesn't support window mode in the slightest, uh, you kind of have to deal with the fact that, like, get a second monitor. Uh, yeah, you would say, you would, uh, <laughs> as I was saying before, uh, I quite literally um, can't because I have a laptop. God damn it! Ugh. Better go make sure he was alone. Well, yeah, I mean, Ironside. If you want to support support the Notepad endeavor, I will. You know, you are free to donate the uh, how much. Yeah. 
You are free to donate, you know, thousands of dollars for a brand new one. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what was that? Uh, you are not a twink. You will not be showered with money and or stuff by our inside. What's he getting for 50? What's he getting for 50 bucks? Uh, oh god, he jumped out of the... God damn it. You're an archer. There was an archer there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Better mic, partially new monitor. What, yeah, are you saying you don't like my fucking mic? What is it? You don't like my mic? Uh, let's see. This mic was 80. No, this mark this wasn't even 80 bucks. Now what am I thinking? No, I'm this mic was about 60 bucks. Uh, for context's sake, I was literally using a headset mic. I still have the same headset. You know what? Let's... Ah, you're... Hey, now, get over here. You're mm. a... There we are. There's one over there. I think there's two of them. Oh, there's two of them. Ooh. This way. Let's. This way. Mm hmm. We have anything. We got a fire pit. We can make. We can make do with the fire pit. Come on, baby. How do you want to do this? I don't even know what hit me there. <laughs> I don't even know how how that worked. He just he literally stamped his foot down and I fell over. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, kick them into the fire. This knocks them back slightly. You got to remember that. This is a slight knockback. They don't go flying unless they're at an angle. So I've been trying to get them at like an angle, but this is like completely flat ground. So, uh... Yeah, that's one down. There we go. There's some barrels. I can make do with barrels. If I've got like a barrel, I can make this shit work. What do you want to do? Come up. I'm going to put you over here. They're going to... He's going to rush around the corner. He's going to get a barrel to the face. Hey! You go in there. Hey, you! Ah. Dead? You are dead. You dead? Yep, yeah, he's dead. Good job, team. Again, all it takes is one barrel, and then you are Gucci. Let me see. Let me uh, do a quick once over here. I believe. Wait, up. No, that's to the next area. If I believe correctly, if I'm a believer. Fuck. Uh, <clears throat> Get 
There we go. There we are. <sighs> also to uh also to uh read some comments because I've been missing a few of them. Uh there's the spikes of auto kill and the fire. You get used to it. It's great. Um, let me see. Pippa Billboard. Oh, yeah, it's finally getting taken down, isn't it? Yes, yeah, Xana is in six. Uh, Ubisoft World make demons reincarnate all the time in hell because pain is fuel there. Incredible lore. And played in the match three total, total war NDS game. Yes. Let me see if I can remember all the locations here. Yum, 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 yum. There's a ring. Where's that fucking ring? I don't even know what killed me there. I think I tripped. <laughs> Yeah, I think I just uh, fucking tripped there. Uh, the spider? That was a fucking spider. Fuck you, spider. Hey, it's been a while. I'm trying to remember. There's like a very specific thing I want. Uh, ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. A ring. Aha! Critical hit. Double chance for critical hits. Good job, me. Now I'm gonna run away because there's a fucking guard here. Uh... Please go down. Oh. Come on, hit me. God damn it. Um, there you go. Well, thank you very much for subscribing, Ironside. I know how much you love giving me money at random intervals. Um, uh, It's great. See, I don't claim to be good at any of these things. See, I never claim to be, like, good or anything like that. I don't know why people think that, like, I'm, like, good at this or anything. Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, me, donk. Good up. Come on. Fuck, <laughs> god fucking damn it. <laughs> and playing this in a window, like a tiny ass window, doesn't also help in the in the slightest either. Like, not gonna lie. Okay, you first. You you go in here. You go. What? Hey. Get the fuck. 
Once I start actually get going and learn and you know get back to you know get back to my groove, I'll be fine. Okay, you go to his left. Yeah, you go in there. There we go. Or will I ever hit the groove? That that's the question. That's the ultimate funny. That I saw. No, I think there is. I think there is something in here. I don't know where it is though. Very good. We should keep an eye out for more of these. Tier one and for six months in advance. Oh, why? Golly gee, I do sure love it when people give me money. Thank you very much, Turner Cell. Very cool. Very, as they say in the hood, Pog. Uh, uh, I have a feeling I'm going to get bodied in here because I feel like there's something in here. Oh, wait, it's, it's fucking spiders. Oh, fucking spiders. This is the one with us, with the secret. <laughs> Again, it's a comedy game. Like, it's a comedy game at, at, at the end of the day. Okay, let's uh throw this. First things first, you go into there. I, I have so little help. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, you want to do this? Go in here. Go over there. Go. There we are. Jesus. Hit that. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna remember what the auto. What the, I'm gonna remember what the quick save key is. Let's hit the quick save key. Okay, we're we're gonna. I started watching at the perfect time. No, you haven't. There is no perfect time for this. We're gonna sprint through here. Come on. We're gonna be. <laughs> this is my life now. <laughs> See, I should put a death count on here, just like the number of times I've died horrifically. Just one. What's in the fucking chest? Okay, we're we're gonna. I I don't remember having this much trouble with this game. I can't even fucking see anything. Aha! I Surprisingly, we've had no crashes. Uh, we've had no crashes, we've had no major issues outside me being really, really bad at video games. I'll say. Hard to get excited over bearing the dried fish. Did I hear something? Stop right there. Or oh, I thought I could kick him into it. Mm. 
care. Yeah, the, it's, that's um, Dark Messiah Elements, if I believe. Yeah, Dark Messiah Elements had, like, the full class system and everything like that. Never played 360 version. I actually played the PC version. Uh, I do enjoy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can't pick that up. <laughs> he only plays Fortnite. Yeah, Ninja just plays Fortnite at this point. Like, I've never... My friend loves Fortnite, by the way. My friend's obsessed with Fortnite. I don't like it very much. Played a little bit of Fortnite. It never really got me. Never really my thing. Oh. I just killed myself there because I'm fucking stupid. Gamma. You do. See, this is, and people like wondering, like, why don't you stream more games, Notepad? Like, why don't you stream more games? It's just because, like, I'm not very good at them. <laughs> like, Blood Hunt, I played Blood Hunt for a while with my with some of my friends. I tried to like Blood Hunt. I really did. I tried. It It wasn't a very like I think the my I think the issue with Blood Hunt was that it wasn't a very good VTM game. Like, it wasn't a good VTM game, and that made made it so that it wasn't a very good BR. And, like, by default, like, I have no fucking clue. I still have no idea, like, what the thought process was behind that game. I am genuinely, like, still wondering about what that particular... Like, what the thought process was of, like, its creation. Like, it's just basic inception. Like, why is this the way that it is? Like... I need to go up. I'm blind. Oh, fuck. Grab a chair. I just got shot. Ow. Hunter, Hunter just isn't a popular, in the grand scheme of things, Hunter is by far one of the least, like, less popular ones. Like, if you were to compare, like, all of the World of Darkness stuff together, Hunter would probably be pretty low on, like, the, on the tier. Because it's the really easy one. And, you know, why not Mage? Mage is just esoteric. I have genuinely no idea how you would make Mage a fun game, like a video game. I have no fucking clue. You are dealing with some esoterica there that in any other in any other context, I'm gonna slash you immediately and just never stop. Ah. Yeah, that was way back in the day though. There's two or three of them. They suck. Yes, the Hunter games were not very good. Uh, <laughs> this fucking archer. God damn it. Ah. 
Okay, let's take a second and think about what's going wrong, rather than throwing my face up against it repeatedly. We're gonna do that. And you know what? I've got eight skill points. Maybe it's time for me to finally invest in something. Uh, let's, let's see. Let's invest in stamina. Stamina, really good. Let's invest in, now we can be standard. We can just go straight into melee combat. We can go straight into melee combat because it's a good, a, it's a good investment. Or we could start going into magic. <laughs> <laughs> We can we could be gamers and go straight into magic, or we could just do. So if we want to be precise, this would be. We take up telekinesis. We now if I want to be, ah, do we go for a mage build? I guess we could try to do a mage build. <laughs> it's been a while since I played a mage build. I have to pick up alertness right off the bat. I'm going to take one level of melee combat. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. I'm going to keep you there. Put the combat staff in. Uh, stone skin, we're not going to use right away. We're going to keep you there. We're going to keep you at six, you at five. Antidote we need right away. We're going to put charm here, flame arrow there. And we're, we're locked in. Okay. Now. We're going to immediately have our boy go to town on them. Welcome to hardcore mode, everybody. Uh, I keep saying this, but yes, hardcore mode makes like any health investment kind of a meme. Like, actually, why don't I just get you in? So they'll just fight each other. Wh whoever wins, I win. Right. Show some skill before I got Better go make sure he's alive. Help! Turns out if you actually <sighs> need... Turns out if you actually invest in your skills, uh life gets a lot easier. Uh take that, take that, give me a mana potion. You're a little ghouly boy. Won't do that. Don't try to run. Strike him. Show some skill before. Don't move, buddy. Move with right. We've got trouble. <laughs> what was that? That's it. Keep him. Oh, oh. Enough mana.
There we go. You finally dead yet? Nope. Ah, there we are. Do a little bit of healing and... Ah, yes, the wizard robe. We we can't use the wizard robe yet, but we definitely can in like a bit. See, I haven't even decided what I want to do yet, and that's the best part. Because there's a few options for you to go down in this game. Oh god, he's back. Uh, hey. Stop that. You dead yet? You dead yet? No, okay, he's dead now. Mm -hmm. Is, I believe there's like a book or something. Press on. Oh. Nope, that's not it. I'm. Where is, there's a switch, I believe. I'm fucking blind, I am blind. I am blind because, uh. Is, I know for a fact there's a thing in here. You have to move something? I completely forgot in this particular uh, in this particular zone. I'm having a stroke. I know there's a thing. I know there's a thing in here. I don't remember what it is though. Um, it's not a book. Like I have to press something. Am I losing my mind? No, I'm not losing. My mind. That's insane. No. What am I on about? No, 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 no. What am I? Uh, yes, maybe? I don't know. Oh, God. Might. I legitimately might just be having a stroke. Okay. Is that. No. Am I overthinking something? No, no, I know for a fact. Because I know I have to go through this. I hope you know that I was trying to do like a stab attack. Because I am perpetually in that. I know I have to go through there. I know I have to move. Is that it? Or am I thinking of another place? Mm. Santa! <laughs> Oh god, I can't remember. <laughs> See, this is what happens. Oh, there we go. I had to pick up the candelabra and move it over here, but I didn't see it. Da 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 Give me all your fucking shit. Nope, this is just a secret, by the way. This is nothing of value in here. It's just a secret. Cool. Nope, oh, not down there. Leave. There we go. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I knew that was going to happen. I fucking knew. I should have I should have charmed him. Okay, he's dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I should. There we go. Arcane Brilliance. That's it. The Arcane Brilliance Ring. Because with the Arcane Brilliance Ring, hit seven. I can hit five. I can hit. I I can hit the wrong button. There you go. Hey, buddy. You're on my team now. Come on, buddy. A little bit further. Uh, there we go. Have no fear. He's on my squad now. Now, technically, I could try... I could just go and kill him, but there's really no reason for me to kill him. That's an archer. Actually, why don't I just do this? Ah! Why do the archers do so much damage? <laughs> Stay hidden for long. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, the best part of the staff. There we are. Dead yet? There we go. I... He shot me through the bookcase. He shot me through the fucking bookcase. There's another archer there. Of course there's another archer. There we go. Of course there's an is magic, not a book. They start killing each other. I am going to do literally anything else. Just literally anything else other than be there. If I remember correctly, there is... Did I hear something? Get me some help. Go to his left. You can stay down. Hey, where are you? God fucking damn it. Pick up healing? I did not pick up healing. That was the only ability I didn't pick up. But yeah, no, it's brain rot. Like, not even being like a... Not even being like funny haha, -ha, it's just brain rot. Ah, there we go. Fireball, fireball, cum jar, stone skin, skull, that. Mm. Uh, there we go, we don't need that old key. Various BC area of a Sean. There 
There we go. Good job, team. We have done it. Go up here. He killed he, he died immediately. Yay. Ooh. Do 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 do. Mm. Okay. Don't fall on my fucking face, cause if I do, I'm gonna kill myself. And that would suck. No, no. Eh. There we go. But yeah, it's uh it's a, it's the talking point. And you always gotta talk about the talking point. Got the old key, we can this go through. Is a nice, quiet place. Oh, too bad we have other things to do. Xana, no, stop being horny on main. Xana, it's Xana. She's horny as fuck. If you can't get the, uh, oh no, don't fall. If you can't get Xana's one personality trait, is that she is horny and she wants to fuck you. Uh, not in that way, ironically enough. She wants to just fuck you over. And also just, actually, she does want to just have sex with you because she's a succubus. And you know what we like with succubi. I believe that would be the proper, I believe that's the proper term of it. Just so you know, dear, Menelag is expendable. The crystal isn't. What do you mean? The crystal was for Menelag. <sighs> Menelag is convenient, that's all. What matters is getting the crystal to that temple. And you oh god, there's like three guys here. Uh, everyone run away at the speed of sound. <laughs> oh no, no, oh. And bonk. You still up? Please stop being up. Still up? Nope. Oh, God. Oh, missed. Not oh, missed again. Oh, get up. Get. There we are. Suck you by, suck you bus. Suck you doocy. See, unlike X, I am not obsessed with suck you by. Because I am, as you can tell, a good Christian boy who believes in righteous things and climbing on things in source. Even though I know t intrusive thoughts Ha! Yeah. Earth. No. Yeah. Welcome to uh, truly a climbing master. <laughs> yeah. Don't you know hardcore parkour? Hello, it's me. Thing in here for me to steal? Not steal necessarily, because I'm not stealing anything from dead people. I am in fact taking things that don't belong to anybody anymore. Because that's how that works. 
Uh, hello. What was that? Hey. Stop right there, or it gets uh. yep. No, he just died immediately. Just. Yeah. You. Don't need you. Give me that. Give me that banana. Let me in! Oh no! Diana! Diana's in danger, guys! Diana. Bananas just work, bruh. Uh. Hey, sorry, Leanna. Uh, don't don't worry about me, Leanna. I am going to uh. Fail miserably at this section because I always fail at this section at least twice. And it's not because it's like hard or anything. I just lose track of the fucking ghoul and then get myself killed by falling. No, no. <laughs> it's gone. Not if you follow it across the rooftops quickly. Okay, so we need to go. Nope, it's yep. This is a dead end. Try the other way. God damn it, every fucking time. I Nope, I've completely completely lost. I am complete I am completely fucking lost again. God damn it. Every fucking time I do this mission. Every time I do this mission, I get incredibly goddamn lost. And I know oh shit. It's gone. Not if you follow it across the rooftops quickly. Okay, no, we have to go this direction. This is a dead end. Try the other way. Let's just try the other way. Oh god, I'm getting stuck on things. If I remember correctly, like What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting how to do this fucking level. Ah, oh, there we go. No, I have to climb through. Ah, I have to climb through this. Ha ha ha. I see it. It won't get away. Jump across. You can do it. Perhaps that foul thing took the high road. There's no time. We have to get through there. Careful. Those. <laughs> you can't hesitate now. Get over here, you fucking little piece of shit. Oh. No. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Every time. I hate parkour in this game. I am really bad at the parkour in this game. This is like hyper focused right now. Like the the thing is, there's the heroes. The, the continuity gets a little bit strange. 
Because the continuity is... If, if I remember correctly, it's heroes 1, 2, 3, and 4 all happen in the same continuity. Heroes 5 is in, like, what I can really only describe as the uh, 1.5 continuity. It's the new continuity, but it's not the new continuity. This is, this game right here is a direct sequel to 5. Like, you gotta remember that. This is a direct sequel to 5. There is, after that, then you have 6, and technically 7, and they have never made another one because 7 was really, really bad. Like, 7 did really poorly. <laughs> And because it was just a a bad game. Like, that was the, uh... Like, that's the funny part. It was just a very bad game that nobody liked. <laughs> nobody... Nobody was like, oh boy, I can't wait for more... Oh, I can't wait for more. Seven had everything against it. It's not even that. Like the the fundamental issue here's the, like the fundamental core crux of the issue with Seven is that it was Heroes Seven, and it needed to be the best thing ever created by man, and it just wasn't. Had soul in all the right places. Eh. Okay. Uh. Go get him, Tiger. God, there's more. Oh, Jesus, there's more. Rock. Barrel. Ah, you gotta... Oh, God damn it. By the way, did you know Hardcore brings in, like, more enemies per, er per area? Fun fact. Okay, so here's the plan. Here is the plan. We're gonna... We're gonna do that. We're gonna put you into our, put you into our repertoire. Oh, I fucked up. We'll put you into our repertoire. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna need to find the archer. Ah, actually, while the archer is fighting him, we will deal with you. I sense an archer somewhere. So, Ooh. there's an archer around here. I don't know where the archer is. Hey, 
Hey, I need you to go in there real fast. Okay. Um, for Might and Magic, Might and Magic, I... Fun fact, I'm not actually, like, a big Might and Magic guy. I've never really had been a very, like, big, like, it's time for Might and Magic or anything like that. To be honest, why, why do all the guards sound like they just got out of prison for aggravated rape? Uh, to be honest, to be a black guard in in setting, the one thing I do know about black guards in setting, uh, yeah, that's pretty much like step one, like aggravated rape charges. Like, yeah, that's like step A. You know, get that, then you can actually, you know, then you have the right of you know continuing. Let's put on our wizard robe. Let's put heal like right there. And uh, get ready for the fun and exciting adventure of having no mana. Ah, ho, ho, ho. I love having no fucking mana for the entire game, which is why mage builds don't really work. Uh, dealing how it looks like we're going to be playing uh, Magic Man and his friends, uh, I will probably... Uh, probably invest in what I would like to casually refer to as is uh, a fun and exciting adventure for the whole family. Uh, where the... There we go. Uh, we need to get up a little bit higher. Jump. Hey. hey. Eh. Technically, you can play this as, like, a stealthy man. But, uh... Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddies. Want to come up here and fight me? You mind if I roll need? Whoop. This is just comical Home Alone bullshit right now. You'll pay when I get my hands on you. Whoa! 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 Oh, dang it. Ooh, I got one on the spikes. Oh, they're, they're struggling. <laughs> When they start struggling, it's just like, oh, I feel bad for them. All right, let's, uh, three, two. Uh, there we go. That's one down. Hey, you, buddy. Give me that door. Ah, there we are. Yeah, you dead? Cool. Because again, when this game starts going, there's one outside, by the way. Oh God, there's like four of them. Yeah, running away at the speed of sound. Hmm. Uh. Do I have a barrel? Swing around. Let's remember that super powerful Holy Griffin Empire dissolved by a small squad of demons wrecking a wedding. <laughs> well, yeah, it's the 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 entire plot premise, everything about Hero Seven. I God, the entire plot premise and everything else about it is built on such bizarre. Things. Mm. Gonna cock the bow. I gotta. My sword belt. I don't have enough mana. Ah. <laughs> teach you. 
It's great. I love video games so much, boys. I didn't even have time to think. I can't even access my fucking inventory. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just gonna sit here. Wait till I get my inventory back. Go. Oh. I didn't even know he rushed me. This is just one of those things, like, this is just going to be what this stream is going to be entitled from, like, now on. It's just going to be, you know, the one where, like, nope, Notepad dies to literally everything. Because the thing is, I need to get up there and chug a health potion almost immediately. But I don't have any health pots, so I, yeah. so I want to get the stuff up here. And that's the thing. I want to get the stuff. God damn it. <laughs> This is ridiculous, by the way. Like, this is absolutely asinine. Uh, but... I keep missing the... I keep missing the goddamn stool. See, what I could do is I go up here, I immediately go back down, I hit my inventory, I go to my inventory, and I chug one of my full health pots. I don't for long. That is also an option. I but, save. <laughs> like he had a bow. Like okay, you know what? Fuck it. You know, I'm 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 down. I am completely okay with you just killing yourself for my enjoyment. Bottle of berry juice. Give me some health pots. Give me that bread. Let's get that bread, boys. You stabbed him in the butt. Yes, I stabbed him in the ass with a blunt object, and that murdered that man. I'm reloading that, by the way. Just gonna reload that. Because I lost 10 health from doing that. Let's... Ho 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 Okay. Okay. Here's the plan. We've got the mana. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna hit the first guy. We're going to open this up. We're going to tag him immediately. He's going to start trying to fight his friends. We rush over here. Kick him in the fucking head. He's over there now. Yeah, they'll, they'll start killing each other. Still, get the fuck down. Ooh. Hey, you. Hey. <laughs> I 
Yeah, there we are. Okay, now, I know for a fact there are other enemies, so we're going to we're gonna quick save. Oh no, there are some there are some there are some more enemies. We throw that at you. Show some skill before I kill you. Put ourselves right here. We'll kick you. Kick you. Position ourselves. Oh damn it. I was blocking game. Actually. And right in the fucking chest. Are you dead? Yes, you are dead. Everyone is dead. Good job, team. So let's uh, equip our wizard robe real fast because I for completely forgot about that. Let's grab some food. Eating some food. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Technically, you can do this, like, really intricate way of actually, like, sneaking, sneaking around and doing a bunch of stuff in this level. Um, I'm not doing any of that, because why would I? Let's see, can I do notepad add-on, secret special assassin man? Can I? Oh, no, I cannot. Uh, but, so what we are going to do instead, that we're going to jump here. Kill myself <laughs> by jumping on jumping on something I shouldn't. Okay, so I would have swore I could get up there, and there's something up there. Um no. Strange. Okay. This game is called Dark Messiah, not Messiah in the Dark. Yeah. Da 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 Haha, <laughs> time for a sewer level. It's not a sewer level. I did the cold brainwash Sarah. Uh, because he's the Dark Messiah. Spoiler warning for a game that's like 20 years old, by the way. Uh, he's the Dark Messiah. Uh. Oh. Ah, uh, do I save the magic mushroom? Yeah, it's just like, what? Where's your like? Oh yeah, I forgot. Like, you can just go down this way. Because if everything was going correctly, here's the thing. This is the, this is the idea. Is if everything is going correctly, the Dark Messiah is going to unleash, you know, hell. Regardless, that's going to be the plan. And they are 90% sure it's Sereth. That's the thing. They're 90% sure. 
it's because he's got, you know, of all the various things he has on him and the various effects and that uh, various effects and problems that he has, they are 95% sure it's him. They don't want to brainwash him because his dad will get pissed. Like, Sarah has to be the one to decide, like, hey. If you get yourself killed, your father will be most displeased. Yeah. You know my father? Oh, yes. I've known him. Yeah, that, if you ever want to know, it's, it is really dad, oof, because all the demons once, uh, not saying had corrupted a baby's, like, spaceship computer system through magic, oh, no, uh, Sarath is actually the, uh, the son, mind you, this is an important, this is an important thing they don't actually talk about in this particular game, Sarath is the son of the main girl from the main one of the Haven camp, main queen of the Haven campaign of Heroes of Might and Magic 5. Because she gets effectively captured by his dad, and things go on, and they have him, and then he gets passed around. That's literally the issue with Sarath. He doesn't really have a family. And that's why him and Liana get around, get along so well. It, that was literally his dad's master plan. Mm. Probably invest in the hole till we get heal. Dad's gigabrain plan was, we're going to do this. And also, does Xana know? Does Xana know him? Yes, Xana does know him. Oh. Oh god, do I do I remember how to do this? It's not worth it at all for me to do this. Mind you, it is it is not worth it and the slightest for me to do this. But let me see if I can remember how to um Okay, place a bar of the chosen metal into the pot for melting. Ease the pot over let me see is let me let me see if I can remember how to do this correctly. So place a bar of your chosen metal into the pot for smelting. Ease the pot over the top of the fire. Ensure that your fire burns the breath of Arkash. Use the bellows to increase the heat. Slide the pot over the mold and then pour the molten metal into it. The mold should be within a small tank of water. Place the lever, raise the water level, and my shallow's both the arm shall be tempered. Move the blade. Uh Okay. Let me see if I can remember how to do this correctly. I am going to I'm going to I know I'm going to fuck this up the first time doing this. So, we need to put this in here. We put it in here. One and we put it over here oh god what was There we go. That is actually how you make a... a longsword. And later on, I believe it's in this level, you actually get a thing of flame gold to do in it. Uh, which I always thought was kind of cool, because I remember the first time I actually found this, and it was like, oh, this is kind of neat. We're going to we're going full mage build, so we're going to stick with the, we're stick with the staff. Uh, what did I miss? You missed the first, like, first three chapters of, Hero of, uh, Dark Messiah. Hello, give me your, ah, uh, a ring of arcane brilliance, where we had an arcane brilliance ring. 
moving around. You should have made a paladin. Shame. <laughs> yeah, I should have made a paladin. But we're not making a paladin. We're doing wizard. Because wizard is completely um nightmarish. Is this the right way to go? I don't know. Truth be told, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, it's one of those things where I like intimately remember the 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 first bit of the game. I have intimate recollection of the first part of Dark Messiah. Everything after that first part gets a little fuzzier over time. That he's dead on the fucking spot. I think that's the case with, like, a lot of games from our childhood, like, where, yeah. where you fundamentally... Oh, God, we fucked up the cutscene. <laughs> <Now, this laughs> look at that, look. He's opening a portal between the Necromancer Hive and the tunnels here. That takes rare power. <laughs> <laughs> we fucked the cutscene up. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. Uh, created a diversion uh, without being sparted by Iron Tear. Um... Ba -da 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 -da. Take the crystal. The eight headed we offer our lives reverently and without distinction. Perfect. Now let's get out of here before anyone notices. Such a marvelous performance, my dear. Now let's go see to the <laughs> They've sealed the exit. Find a river. It's our only chance. There we go. I have played Ma Mega Man Battle Network. No, I have not. You to the free city of Stonehelm, Ow, to my a eyes. Named Menelag. He and I have certain shared allegiances. Right now, he's looking for an artifact called the Skull of Shadows for reasons of his own that are doomed to fail. He thinks you're going to help him, the fool. At least not without this. The Shantary Crystal that we retrieved. However, boy, I don't trust you out there alone. I need someone to hold your leash. Also, um, a cool iron side. You also have to remember, they are fucking with his mind a little bit, not terrible. Don't worry, you'll learn to enjoy the pain. You can call me Xana. That's Xana's true form, by the way. But like as a kid, uh. Saris, wake up. Easy there. What happened? Teach him to like demons. What's going on? Who? What are you, really? That dream was just a necromancer's curse. Don't believe any of it, dear. I'm a friend, an ally, and I could be even more. Which, funny, fun fact, by the way, uh, Xana does actively like you. Like, <laughs> praise Elaps, you're safe. I was so worried about you. You must have been through a lot. Did you find the crystal? Please tell her no just to see her reaction. Yes, I took it back. Wonderful. Except that now the necromancers have taken our ship. We can't get to the island. If only my uncle were here. Wait, Sarah, could you do it? Get on board and lower the gangplank? Then my men could board it. We'd steal it right back from Arantir. I'll take care of it. Just be ready when the gangplank goes down. Just let me move this. Ooh, so decisive. <clears throat> trying to impress someone. Yeah, I'm debating on whether or not we should uh, go with Liana or stay with Zana. 
uh, this uh, this campaign. Uh, both of them have very valid, uh, very valid options because it is funny. Uh, Staff of Reflection, by the way. Can we use the Staff of Reflection? Where is the damn thing? Uh, there we go. Ooh, yes, I can. Hello there, darling. Magic attack, lightning bolt, power strike, performer, single attack, weapon is charge parry. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, more mana. We can go with more mana, or I don't think increasing our health is the right option here. We can go with... Well, actually, it's... We shouldn't we should always just go for some more mana right now. We now have 90 mana. The demon was you, Sareth. You were the dark messiah of might and magic TM. Like, that is the not fucking with you. That is quite literal. I just ran into that one. I shouldn't have. Ah. Okay, we're gonna reload that section, fun fact. Just gonna reload that just for a little bit there. Uh, hey, kick! Okay, so if I remember correctly, we need to do some stealth. Hmm, if I want to be a stealthy boy, what do I want to do? So we're going to you invest in that and we're gonna hit f6 and we're gonna like when you really break it down that literally is the plot of this game <laughs> no sarath you were the hero of might and magic it was like oh okay let's um Hey, Pearl! <laughs> Slow. Also, should a cozy, should an RPG, should a cozy RPG be high tension, low stakes, being linked into catastrophe? I mean, generally speaking, cozy RPG should have lower stakes than normal. Like, that's the entire thing. Like, comfy, anything, like, when people say they want comfy things, they usually mean they want low stakes. And they want things to be, like, pretty friendly in that regard. Okay, so we're going to, how do we want to do this? Let's get him to be friendly with that. So he's friendly. Burst that down. Three bells left on our watch. Quit your bitching. It's an easy enough duty. If I didn't bitch, how would you know it was me? I can't go through. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. Okay, I need you to stay down, brother. Uh, brother, I need you to stay. Hey. Ow, fuck. Dick. Hey man, I just need can you just stay down? It's not nice to go through other people's things. Birds of a feather, aren't we? Ah. Do do come back here and you pay when I get my hands on you. You pay when I get my hands on you. Come back here and you pay now. I don't even know what killed him there, but 
Maybe the power of my mighty boot. Yeah, there's a lot of little things you can do in this game and be really creative. Unfortunately for all of you, you have me, uh, who's really bad at all of that. Like, door stuck. Give me your meat. Give me your meat. Okay, yeah, this is where we encounter our first magic user. Got that froze people. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I thought. Actually, you know what we can do? Total wizard death. Yes, it is time for total wizard death. Uh, haste. Looks like you can block one. Yeah, okay, buddy. Yes, Ubisoft did make a new one. Because what happened was, the full... The full timeline, the full timeline, you gotta remember this iron side. It is, Heroes 4 comes out. Heroes 4 doesn't do very well uh, because it was kind of a rush product in general. What happened was they handed it off to another company. Ubisoft bought the rights. They handed it off to another company and they made 1.5, uh, pretty much 5, which is still part of the original universe, sort of. Because the thing that happens in Heroes and Might and Magic 5 is very important. They genocide the Keegans. They just genocide all the devil aliens. Every single dev a total devil alien death. And they roundhouse kick devil aliens, murder devil aliens. They subjugate the devil aliens. Terrible. They, this causes pretty much them to remake the entire world. Now... This leads to Heroes of Might and Magic uh, 6. Heroes 6 is in effectively a completely different world. This is, it's in Ashentir instead of the traditional one. And 6 and 7 are there. Technically, Dark Messiah is also in there. Pretty much anytime you think of like anything relatively recent of you know, Might and Magic... It is entirely Ubisoft's thing. Well, that's dumb. The, the reasons were behind it get a little bit shaky. It's the, the one thing that you consistently hear, though. Probably one of the most like consistently uh, consistent things you hear about it is that they wanted it to make it a more approachable, which effectively saying, "Hey, this is a setting about devil aliens invading, and angels are like automatons from God." Like that fucks people up a little bit more than it more than it should. Total goblin. Go get them, knob. Go get them, buddy. Yeah, wait, normies. Yeah, effectively, that's kind of like the problem is... Yeah, you gotta look at a lot of these things, not from... 
hey, what's the most creative or what's, you know, what's the most interesting or anything like that. It's you have to look at it almost purely from what is these like arbitrary, seemingly arbitrary, you know, like focus groups saying. What do they say? Because those are the guys that they listen to. We cool gobbos? We cool gobbos. I like the goblins in this. I like the goblins. I think they're all pretty nice. These goblin tunnels. Berry juice. Give me some berry juice. Oh, Jesus. But yeah, no, it's... Anytime you wonder, like, why are things weird, it's because probably there was a shit ton of focus groups about it. Like, just an astronomical amount of, like, a bunch of people standing around and being like, this is, like, the optimal way of doing things. It wasn't because it was, like, again, creative visions or being fun or anything like that. Kill focus groups. Drown focus groups. Well, the thing is, focus groups are good because, generally speaking, you have no. F also, hi, Cole. Um, but generally speaking, you have no fucking clue. Ninety-five percent of the time, kind of what people are looking for, and I think a lot of games can uh, can benefit. Cole being gay in the corner, yeah. Uh, you can make an argument that a lot of people could benefit from. Yeah, like Shalman's Shal mass disaster pieces. Yeah. Focus groups stop bad ideas and they can promote good ideas. Because like, hey, this is fun. This is good. And this is why Studio Seed is a red flag if anyone working on an IP is a fan of the IP. Yeah, to a degree. Creatives do need effectively tar wranglers. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. They sometimes do. Because like, we could, like, really pretend, like, you know what? Creatives are the one we need. We need people who are, like, cool or whatever. Like, that is, like, the thing is, creativity is good. But for, but we also have to remember this. This is a very important factor. For every, like, super cool creative idea out there, there are a dozen super cool, you know, creative ideas that just drown. Because it's made by someone who has no idea what they're doing, or it's just a bad idea. And it's like, you know what? Hey, this is really cool. Like, it's a... Here's a good example of it. Uh, Undertale. Undertale was a genuinely good idea. And it was, yeah, okay, it was nice, it's creative, it does everything it does. Do you know how many RPG Maker games there are that came out before Undertale that were just bad? That just did not have the, 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 like, like, why are you making this? Like, with the similar premise of, like, oh, you're, you're being creative or whatever. Like that, no. And uh, before, I should say, you know, before Undertale. And some of them are just bad. Like, just generally, just, just bad. Or you get something like the Drakengard games. Like, Drakengard, like, let's not call, let's not, let's not be too, uh, too, you know, nice about things. Drakengard, after, Drakengard 2, uh, everything after the original Drakengard, and in turn near, uh, not great. <laughs> they all had some issues. And it's like, hey, focus groups can be the thing selling you. Hey, this is a bad idea, please, why would you ever do this? The problem is, and this is the thing with a lot of focus groups, Focus groups are fucking stupid. Like, you gotta remember that key fact of life. Focus groups are dumb motherfuckers. Because they will get, like, hyper-obsessed with, like, little tiny things. And then suddenly it's like, oh, uh, we love Dark Souls games. What is their what is their purpose? 
the main thing with like a focus group. Now, this was this was coming from a focus group perspective of PR guys and things like that. If I were to show you, usually what happens is you have like five focus groups. You have multiple focus groups and the singular guy kind of presenting the information. They'll be like, okay, here's our new ad campaign. What do you feel about it? And it'll be like, burgers. I love burgers. You should eat more burgers. Joss, giant, soft, you know, you know, succulent burgers. And it's like, cool. And you get love of 10 groups. There's like five, there's eight groups that say, hey, we really like this ad. Two groups are like, well, we don't really like the ad very much. You get explanations of why. Why'd you like the ad? Well, it told me exactly what I wanted to know. And it burger looked good. You look at another person and it's like, well, it was too direct. If you get all that information, you, you, you bring it back to the data and it's like, okay, we know people really like the fact that it's very direct, but maybe we can like shake it up and add something else on it. And what happens to a lot of the time is that there's usually like a few groups that just do focus group studies. Like, yeah, hey, we just do ad studies and things like that. And that's why for... Remember for a while there, all those fast food companies, and even still now, they weren't making it about, like, the food. It was a lifestyle thing. You know, you didn't, any time a McDonald's ad run, it wasn't about the food, it was about the people, the friends we made at McDonald's, or what the fuck ever. That was the entire thing. Because there was a focus group, there was effectively a study saying people really liked that. Like, that's the thing. People really liked it. And it did do really well. That's the thing. Like, you, this is a consistent thing you'll always notice. You'll always see certain trends, certain ad trends, certain abilities, certain things like that. People like them. People love that shit. People really, really enjoy the consistent, you know, ads out there or something, whatever. When it comes to games and stuff, and when it comes to, like, what are people looking for, you have to draw from a majority, not fans. Because if you were to ask fans of StarCraft, hey, we're making a new StarCraft game, what do you think we should do? If you ask fans of StarCraft, 95% of them are going to be like, make StarCraft 2 again. Make, make StarCraft more. But if you get people who are like, oh, well, you, we aren't really big RTS guys, and you were like, okay, what do you guys want? Being like, we want things to be easier. We want things to be simpler. We want things to be not as complex. We want things to be... We want, you, we want to be explained how to do things. It's like, oh, okay, perfect. Like, that's one of my reasons why I believe, anyway. I believe Fallout 4 is every single thing New Vegas did right. And misinterpreted. <laughs> every single thing New Vegas did correctly, Fallout 4 does better. It was just completely off the fucking mark in every single conceivable metric. Oh, well, we really like the factions. Well, we've added more factions. Oh, well, we really like the storytelling. Well, we've got a bigger story for you. Well, we like... Uh, well, we like... Uh, well, we don't like the combat very much. We've improved the combat. Hey, we want more gun customization. We improved gun customization. But you say the roleplay part, but I can guarantee you absolutely no place during those, you know, focus groups or whatever did anybody mention they liked the roleplay aspect. Factually less guns and for... This is, mind, mind you, Swagmire of Katarina. This is counting all of the, like, little add-ons and shit. That's what they would count them. Yeah, it's different variations. That's what they would count. Again, it's little things like that. That's the big thing. Because nobody probably in that group, that initial focus group, ever thought in any conceivable metric to inform anybody, hey, we really love the role-playing aspect of it. And probably the people they brought in, probably the hundreds of people, the hundreds of hours of data and stuff they collected, they probably determined... They didn't care. Like, they, they probably were like, well, people play consistently the exact same way. We know consistently that of the 40 of the million Steam copies sold, it's not a million, but you get what I mean, of the million Steam copies sold, 
uh, 23% of people completed the Caesar's Legion route. We know that 35% of people completed the NCR route. We know that. They have that data. They have that information. You go to the focus groups. None of the focus groups mention we love role play. None of them do. So they just don't think about it. They just don't put it in. Or they misinterpret what role playing is. It's not, oh, oh, so high ethical. It's not, oh boy, I love role playing games. I love getting into the mindset of the character. I love figuring out what I like doing. No. They say role playing is selecting the right dialogue option. Because if you really look back at like when Fallout 4 came out, dialogue wheels were the shit. Everybody had a dialogue wheel. So of course we've got a dialogue wheel. And of course, we've got a voice character. Ugh. Like, ah, ha, ha. They, they, they kind of shake, your, they shake a finger at you and say, ha, ha. We have the first voice character in Fallout. And I think that kind of influences things going forward and how interactions happen. A vast majority of decisions you see in the business world can normally be uh, attributed to not malice, not like, oh, well, this is like, oh, they're deliberately trying to fuck us over or something. No. No, 95% of the time you can attribute it to pure stupidity. Like, they just don't. They are not, at any conceivable metric, popping into the idea that maybe this is... Oh, fuck hit me. Oh, you motherfucker. You hit me through the fucking door, didn't you? This, mother, this motherfucker hit me through the fucking door. I'm gonna have to beat a bitch. Bear. That guy just condemned his friend to die. Like, <laughs> that dude's a dick, by the way. That dude's right in here. He's a dick. He's like, hey, my friend's getting his shit rocked. I'm just going to leave him. <laughs> like he I forgot you can you can use these. They don't do anything. You really shouldn't use them, but you can. Yay! You don't need to go here though. Hmm. Oh god. Moving around at the speed of sound. Yeah. You've got full mana. Let's be a little bit cons be a little liberal here. Let's get you back. Okay, you're going. We're gonna start freezing mofos. Hey you. Hey buddy. Zowie. Hey, you. Actually, let me.
I was uh, concept of playing Caesar's Legion in New Vegas really cuts to the core of what role playing in games means. Caesar's Legion is objectively a fascist proto empire bound on bound to collapse on the death of Caesar, and yet the game still provides adequate reason for joining up with them. It's a choice to join them rather, despite knowing their immense flaws, that makes playing the game interesting. Well, that's the be see. That's the thing that I really enjoy about every part of New Vegas. Actually, is that technically every single faction in New Vegas has has their upsides and their downsides, and every single one of them is interesting. Every single one of the factions does ha does provide you with something of value. You know, you can learn. You hey, come over here. You're right, I should chug a potion. What I'll do instead is chug this magic mushroom. Uh, let's see. I have seen very retarded fights going up for each other versus protector and under rail. But like a lot of games do like under rail, they just give two, two extremes and uh, not people with that many nuances. Like, dude, I don't want to see Twitter person with their opinion with zero in between. Uh, so should a cozy RPG be high tension, low stakes? Like after school anime has been the catastrophe. Also, how does D6. Like, how does the D6 system work? It just. Well, it depends on which D6 system you're working with. Are like open. Open D6. The open D6 is like just effectively like a dice pool, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. Oh, God. Hey. Uh. Hey, buddy. No. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Fire, 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 fireball at me. Ow. Ow. Ah! Yeah, uh, depends on the D6, but yeah. Cozy RPGs should not necessarily be like high tension, low stakes. It's generally speaking, it's, um, drastically low stakes with a, with something happening. And that's usually the, uh, important thing to always remember. There still must be something happening. Hey, oh no! Look at me and my susceptible Debussy. Whatever shall I do? It's almost like... Okay, you get over here. There. Oh, thank you. Mm. Ah, there we go. But yeah, um, generally speaking, when you're dealing with like low stakes RPGs, the most important thing for you to remember is that there one still needs to be a threat of some variety, but it is incredibly low stakes. High tension can kind of mean different for every different thing, but generally speaking, like you want there to be something going on, even if it's something very mild, like. Golden Sky Stories, I think, is like the quintessential comfy game, in my opinion. And that's the kind of game where, like, a serious business, like, holy shit, this is the, this is the thing that we have to fucking worry about. It's like, hey, it's like, we need to, like, build the candy store. Like, we, we need to deliver things from the candy store. Like, that's intense shit going on. Because you feel invested. It's, it's incredibly low stakes, relatively speaking, but there's a lot of um, investment by the characters, if that makes sense. That's the big thing. 
Uh, you see the same thing in Skyrim, where despite having over the course of the game uh, that Ulfric Stormcloak with a Thalmor age and his fa faction's victory would bring Skyrim deeper into ruin, it's still fun to be a big retard with an axe yelling about how Skyrim is for the Nords. Again, yeah, the only objectively correct way to play a uh, fire spell on me, bitch. It's fire fucking spell on me. Ah. Oh. Like, the only objectively, like, correct way, in my honest-to-God opinion, to play, uh, Skyrim. Oh, God. Is to play it as either a big, dumb moron. Uh, put you there. Is play big, dumb man, do big, dumb man things. Uh, where do I lower that? Gangplank. No one's a gangplank. Liana's gonna probably die at least twice because I'm gonna kill her. Everyone plays Skyrim as crouchy, crouching archer simulator. Well, yeah, because that's always been objectively the best way to play any of those games. Like, that's kind of the unfortunate reality of a lot of... Like, one of the most unfortunate realities of certain games is that it's, like, no matter how, like, like, oh, well, it's very in lore for you to be this, or it's, oh, it's very lore heavy for you to be this particular way. This is important. It's, like, there will always come the, the, the necessities of the fact that you are playing a video game and, and you are, you know, you, or you are playing a game, you are... You are doing something that is saying like you. This is like just the optimal way to play. Mm -hmm. I think that's always kind of like one of the more unfortunate realities. Is <laughs> I forgot. Liana brings in. I'll free the crew and get the ship ready to sail. Just keep those monsters from getting on board. Yeah, Liana, I know. Showing off for the other pretty girl, are we? Oh, yeah, we set a trap right there. Uh, there's going to be a lot of guys. I'm I'm going to be having fun, otherwise known as spamming this. If you keep them off the ship. Guard the gangplank. Oh, wait. Looks like the necromancers found reinforcements. Stop them. At least they can only come at you one at a time. There we go. We'll just set up a load of traps. Liana, 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 please, God. Liana, please, I am begging you, do not get shot. Liana, I am, I am, I have the power. Liana, Liana's going to get herself killed, by the way. I'm waiting for it. Liana, please don't fucking die. Okay, I'm going to have to fucking, I hate you. I hate you, Liana, so fucking much. You, join me. Do 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 Cause find it funny to make your life miserable. There we go. Okay, we're gonna deal with the archer real fast. Like Liana, what are you doing? Yeah, I need you to. Okay, get in there. Total archer death. Okay, we're going to place one right there. Get out of my way. Yeah, Liana, get out of my fucking way. Oh my god, Liana, please. Yeah, we need, I need to... Ah! Hey you, join me. Better go make sure he's alone. You're a dead man. Oh god, he the fucking archer blocked him. Hey buddy, just gonna take a swim. Is she a wizard? Yes. Liana is actually an accomplished wizard. Like, relatively speaking, she's an accomplished wizard. And she's just fucking stupid because she keeps getting herself hurt because she is a dumb, dumb girl. 
and oh no where's leon yeah, Le yeah luckily leon ah! <laughs> there's a another fucking archer why are there so many archers why are there so many join me Hey, buddy. I need you to go. Get. Oh. <laughs> Liana fucking died because she got shot. Like, legitimately, that's going to be the entire, like, game plan right now is just like, okay, we gotta make sure that Liana doesn't fucking die because she gets shot by an archer three times. Because, you know, I don't know. There's an archer. He's shooting at us. What do I do? I'm just gonna stand right here and, like, fucking do the thug shaker, I guess. Yeah, Liana, I'll keep the fucking monsters away from us. All you need to do is not die. You got one fucking job. Oh, I'm the, I'm the niece of a powerful wizard. And you're also apparently the niece of an inbred moron. Jesus Christ, almighty. Like the necromancers found reinforcements. At least they can only come at you one at a time. For once she has the right idea. Easy for her to say. Where's the other? Where's the fucking archer? Hey archer, what's up, buddy? Why do archers do so much damage? Die. Oh! <laughs> hey, buddy. Join me. <sighs> Liana's getting shot again by... How... Liana fell off the boat. Liana fell off the fucking boat. Oh my god, Liana. I hate you so fucking much. I hate you. I hate Liana. I'm killing Liana. We're joining Xana this uh, this run. I don't care. We're condemning Liana. I'll never do a Liana ending. She will die. I don't care. <laughs> oh, it's not efficient. You're the best items in the game here for the Holy Dragon. Well, this dumb... Cunt won't keep herself alive. Just keep those monsters from getting on board. Yes, Liana, that's the plan. Now you stand over there, away from danger. Just push him. Just push him, you say. I wish it was that easy. The thing is, I think Le Liana's like trying to run up here and she's getting themselves, she's getting shot. Like she's getting just like poked off by the enemies and like that's what's going on. Do not, no, 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 stay away from, no, stay. Leona, I will fucking kick you. I need to. Jesus fucking Christ. She's gonna jump off there. If I get it like, oh, she's dead. Hey, you. Oh, oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I'm fucked. Uh, 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 ooh, ooh, uh, Okay. Okay. We're 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 recovering. We're recovering from this. We can recover from this. All we need to do is think things through. You're gonna. Hey, you. Get. You're a dead man. Get. Kicking is egalitarian. <laughs> Aaron. T Get in there. 
Okay, Liana, there's one guy. I need you to deal with one guy after I've taken care of every single other man in this area. Hey. Hey, Liana, I need you to do your fucking job. Ow, fuck. Okay. Liana's at half health. Go. Dead, finally. There's an archer out there. There's... Liana, don't die, please. Hey, you. Show some You're a I do like the fact that they do drop their... Okay. Okay. Be good. Be Gucci. Where's it going? I'm going to place that down right there. Okay, one archer is a little bit banged up. Ah, there we go. We nailed him right in the noggin. Okay. Liana, how you doing up here, baby girl? You, you, Liana's doing fine. Okay, there he is. Hello, archer man. Let's go. Ah, it's gonna light you on fire like that. Ooh. Hello. Hug a potion real fast. Good. Got an explosive. We ain't good. We ain't good. We ain't good. We ain't not. Attention all gamers. We are not good. You're a dead man. Get in there. There we are. Let's get moving. I can smell Aaron's here. He's on his way. Attention all gamers. The boot. <laughs> oh. Liana, Leon. On to the island. If Liana jumped off there and just killed herself, I would I would have just I, I would have been over. Take care of the crew. Sarah and I will raise the anchor. Your orders, milady. Sarah, could you come with me? It's um important. Yeah, okay. This is the word where Liana hits on you, where she's like, I like you, Sarath. I met you like five minutes ago, but I like you. I I'm not good at this. I want to do butt Sarah, stuff. When my uncle died, I thought everything was lost. But somehow you managed to get the crystal, the boat. You saved us all. You saved me. I feel nauseous. Wake me when it's over. I, I just wanted to... Thank you again, and, and to tell you that you've become very important to me. We've known each other for two days. Oh, um, yes. Cast off then, Tergon. Can we get the boat moving? <laughs> Just immediately draw the weapon, like... I think it's a variation of Stockholm Syndrome. This is just crazy bitch territory. Like... Of my playthroughs of this, I've never liked Liana. I have never actually enjoyed Liana. And fun fact, everybody, she's not the canon ending. She's not. You dance divinely, Lord Arantir. We are all part of a much greater dance, my dear. I've simply performed the steps for longer than most. Well, well, look who's here. So good of you to join us, Sarah. Do you want to learn about your destiny or your doom? Neither are what you think. He'll learn soon enough. Go on, Leon. Dance with him for as long as he'll allow it. <laughs> Fun fact, this is, sh this is foreshadowing of me killing her. Ah, 
Your first victim. Don't worry, boy. She will be your last. Hi, Aaron. Here. Wow, Cole's playing Pathfinder. Everybody laugh at Cole for playing Pathfinder. Ah, uh, so here's what so we're gonna do. Is this is the island you told me about. Uh, okay, we do have an auto save here. I am going to put out a hard save here. So uh, we're gonna call it there. Thank you all for following. Thank you, thank you for having a, a fun time here. No crashes. Luckily enough, the crash counter does not go on. A little bit rough around the edges there, but before I started kind of getting the better uh, jam on things. But hey, that's half the fun, right? Moment of public shame. <laughs> yeah, it's... The thing is, you get introduced to Xana, and the idea is like, Xana's a fucking demon, she's fucking evil, don't, she's, she's, she's fucking evil. And I think, like, part of me, here's the thing, I think part of me was like, oh, well, you're supposed to, you're supposed to be afraid of Xana. Xana's like, la evil. And because Xana is la evil, it's just like, yeah, because you're supposed to be, like, I think the idea is that you are actually supposed to, um... Let me, let me see if I can bring it up. Fast. Um, bring it up. I think you're supposed to actually, like, kind of play her, like, ahead of time kind of thing. Like, you're supposed to kind of know. Because here, spoiler warning, again, like, she's an actual character from... My Heroes of Might and Magic 6. She's an actual character here, but she's mentioned in actually 5, I believe. Like, this is Xana in her, like, full, like, Hero 6 getup, by the way. This is what she actually is. This is Xana in her, like, normal form. Uh, this is Sarah. This is what Sarah canonically looks like, by the way. As you can tell, he's just a little evil looking. Uh, to give you an idea, here's Xana, here's all her things here. Uh, here's Leanna, and here's Leanna. This is literally just about how we make fun of her, and how she dies. Oofs. Uh, yeah, t you know, canonically, here are her, you know, this is the, I do enjoy the fact, like, uh, this is, <laughs> this is Sarath as a human, by the way. This is concept art of Sarath as a human. Uh, this is what I think he's supposed to canonically look like, like a pretty normal looking guy, guy. but uh, they even do have things like, yeah, he's, as you can somewhat tell, he's a little bit, little bit jank. He's a little bit, you know, <laughs> canonically speaking, he's a little bit of a sussy baka. Uh, we aren't, so, yeah, technically this is your mom. This is what I mean by, like, it's technically a secret. It's technically a full sequel. You know, sequel. Like, <laughs> they don't really, um, they don't actually tell you this, though. That's, like, one thing. They do not actually tell you this in-game. Because why would they? They mention it effectively at the very end. Uh... Yeah, here's uh, Emperor Nikolai, Nikolai Griffin. <laughs> yeah, who is Arthas, by the way? What part of the timeline are we? In? If we were to be, if we, if you were, if I like, if I go to here, let's look at the the heroes of might, and, heroes of might and magic, hero of ma might and magic timeline. We do the full timeline. So, effectively, the latest is actually a Dark Messiah, I believe. That's like the absolute latest in the full timeline. Because, like, some of these can get, like, um... Yeah, this is the Ashan timeline. Let me see if we can find... Give me the Ashan timeline. You got a good image of this? Uh... No, give me a give me a good timeline here. Yeah, this is a Sean, by the way. Sean kind of sucks. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Ashan is very boring. Like, that's just, like, one thing, like, you have to understand, is that the actual, like, Ashan, like, setting is not very fascinating. It's kind of boring. Yeah, if you ever want a basic history of might of heroes and might and magic, uh, hey, oh fuck, damn. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the yeah, this is the Ashan timeline. Then, do we have like a good image of everything? Uh, is it gonna tell us that we have a good good image of things? I don't know, but <laughs> so yeah, it's Heroes Online, Hero Six. Pirates of the Savage Seas, Dance Macabre, Duel of Champions, 10, Sage of Darkness, Clash of Heroes, Heroes 5, Dark Messiah, and then Heroes Kingdom. Like, it says the bad ending, but like, this is Heroes Kingdom. Might and Magic Heroes Kingdoms. It was a French-only, massively multiplayer, real-time strategy game. Released in France by Ubisoft, and it was a mobile game, effectively. Yeah, Dark Messiah is the canonical ending of the entire series, effectively. And that's, that's that. Congratulate, yeah, this is a Sean. Uh, they don't really talk about a Sean, really. Uh, because it is quite literally standard fantasy setting... 101 like if you ever want the most basic of like set like basics of settings it's gonna be the ashan timeline because like yeah it goes all the way up to seven yeah sex six came out six came out in 2000 2011 hero seven came out in 2015 mind you 200 years after the Shades of Darkness and 10 years after the assassination of Holy Emperor Male Falcon. 100 years before Heroes 5. So yeah. That's... <laughs> to, to give you an idea of the timeline, it is kind of a weird timeline, but Dark Messiah is, gradually speaking, the canonical ending of... The of the friend of the current franchise. Yeah, it was one of those classic clans type RPG. Yeah, it it wasn't really an RTS. It wasn't really a strategy game. There's so many of them, but they make a lot of money. That's why you occasionally see um, what was it? Uh, game of Thrones, the browser game. Yeah, no, that is for lack of a better word, the Heroes of Might and Magic timeline is really stupid, and if you talk to anybody heroes 3 will still go down as like the one people cite as the best there are a few heroes 4 appreciators out there but they are very um few and far between people even like five when you mention six and seven the numbers begin to drop off a lot unless it is someone's first game if that makes sense if it was someone's very first game then they're like hell yeah this is my favorite if they, if it's not really, it's like, oh, well, I just don't much care for it. Uh, will we see anything Heroes of Might and Magic related going forward? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I really, I really don't think we'll, we'll see anything. Uh, looks like we've got 10 Legacy in uh, 2014. Uh, list of media. Like let's see, the latest of the art, later, latest of the strategy games was 2015. Latest of the RPGs was Legacy. It was 10 Legacy, but yeah, it looks like it's kind of got kind of got middling reviews. Um, let's see, spin-offs games: Might and Magic Chess Royale, he Mag Might and Magic Heroes. What's 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 Heroes? Heroes Online. Tell me. Oh, wow. It's a free to play MMORPG released in 2014 and closed in 2020. Huh. I wonder fucking why. <laughs> yeah. T t oh, boy. 
you want to play Might and Magic Chess Royale? Oh man, I love battle chess. Yeah! <laughs> it's battle chess, that's all it is. Um, technically, the King's Bounty series, there's technically the card games. Yeah, if you ever want to see, like, an abused franchise, like, this is one of those ones that, like, can very clearly say, like, this is somewhat of an abused franchise. Uh, did they even mention Dark Messiah? I don't even think they mentioned Dark Messiah. Like, <laughs> like, do they mention it? Yeah, no, they do, they do mention it. But yeah, it's, uh... King, now mind you, if you want to know the fun, the fucked up bit, the fucked up part, and I do mean the fucked up part. This is King's Bounty. King's Bounty, mind you, has actually gotten, um, what was this one? This was the, this is King's Bounty 2. This one came out, yeah, this is King's Bounty 2. This didn't come out too long ago, relatively speaking. And, yeah, like, you can... Play King's Bounty 2 right now. Like, King's Bounty has a more recent one than its older older brother, which I find kind of... You also got... um, You can't tell King's Bounty is also a lot weirder cheesecake-y. But, uh, yeah, to kind of give you an idea there, I find that really fucking weird in its own way I, now if you want to know my first introduction to it this was my first introduction of um, Heroes of Might and Magic <laughs> uh, was Quest for the Dragonbone Staff uh, the very first Heroes of Might and Magic game I, pl I played was this one for the PS2 it was awesome <laughs> This is one of those, like, I knew it was bad back then, but I'm like, this is the most fun I've ever fucking had with the game. I loved it. Uh, we've got Cr Chronicles. Heroes Chronicles. Yeah. D it, it, yeah. And then, of course, we have Song of Conquest, which came out recently in 2022, uh, which is pretty much a spiritual se sequel to the game. Yeah, if you've ever want to know, like, just abandoned, of just kind of, like, mistreated franchises, it's pretty clearly my magic. Like, Ubisoft, what franchises do you have? Tell... Ubisoft, what do you, what do you own? Let's see. They've got the Anno. Anno did pretty well. The latest Anno did pretty well. Assassin's Creed. They can't help but fuck up with that one. Brothers in Arms. Chess Master. The Crew is not a franchise. Fuck you. Uh, Far Cry. Far Cry got... This is the last Far Cry. It was Far Cry 6 two, about two years ago. Uh, I did hear that they're going to be making a new Far Cry here soon. Uh, I hated... Mind you. I hated... Uh, uh, Assassin's Creed. Everything like a Sath post Assassin's Creed... Um, it was like a uh, fucking not even it, it it was like everything past like two. I was like, okay, I'm not really into this anymore. But like Valhalla was like Valhalla Odyssey. I hated the direction they went with these games. Those were just bad. But uh, I that happened. I do have Syndicate for free. I don't know where. Um, but uh, Prince of Persia gets mistreated a lot. Red, the Settlers, Silent Hunter. Uh, yeah, no, they just kind of, they just kind of suck. Like <laughs> Ubisoft just kind of sucks. Not, not gonna sugarcoat it. Here, squad, Ubisoft sucks, and they really mistreat their franchises. So I'm gonna call it there. Godspeed. Good luck. Hope to see you on the other time. I will most likely, judging by my timing here, uh. Most likely we'll be playing uh, at this, uh, 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 unoccasionally. But yeah, thank you. Godspeed. Good luck. Tomorrow we'll be doing table derby. So keep an eye out for that. So yeah. <laughs>